Hello everyone, uh, it's autumn here, so I just thought I'd uh, stop for a walk uh, and talk. Look how cute Molly is. Talk a little bit about uh, where we got Molly and how you can find your own puppy. Before we do that, I just want to say thank you to all our subscribers. I appreciate it very much. And so does Molly, don't you? Yes. And yeah, if you're watching for the first time and want to subscribe, we've got some more content coming up for your new puppy and some more beautiful videos of Molly. So it took us about uh, four months, to be honest, to find uh, Molly. Uh, we went to breeders all uh, around the north of Italy. Uh, in the local area, there was nothing available. Uh, toy poodles, especially ones like this, are extremely popular. And so uh, most of the places, uh, even as the dogs got pregnant, they were all fully booked. Um, so we had to wait and we had an interesting day when the breeder said, oh, you know, She's uh, given birth now, and then we got a countdown of what's coming out. First a boy, and then another one. And then two girls came out, and one of them was Molly. So we managed to take her, and her sister and brothers went elsewhere. Maybe they'll meet one day. But I just thought I'd talk about the best place if you're looking for a puppy, or where you want to go. Really, the best place to go is dog shelters. There's dog shelters very near you that are looking after dogs very well but all the dogs there just want another family to love and if you're not too fussy about which breed, which colour, which sex then th that is the best option for you. You can go there and find some wonderful dogs. I read that uh, after Covid uh, people got a lot of dogs and then they abandoned them. There's a lot of dogs who need your love and if you're looking for a dog that is by far the best place to go. Having said that, if you're looking for a specific breed and colour like we were, we were looking for one exactly like Molly, uh, you have to really go for a breeder. Now you want to be careful which breeders, you want to do a lot of research. Uh, the one we found were fantastic, we went a couple of times, we managed to see the parents, see that they were in nice and healthy, how they were looking after all the other puppies they had and we were happy that they cared a lot about the dog. Unfortunately there are some who don't look after the puppies very well, and really they're just in it for the money. They just farm them out and just get, don't care about the puppies, don't look after them and just get them, uh, get the money for them. The things you need to check for, uh, just check the overall vibe when you go and talk to the people. Are they pushing to sell or are they caring about who you are and what you're doing? We had one that we saw who wouldn't give any puppies away until they'd given you basically an interview to see that you were good people and you would be able to look after them. Uh, this may be a bit too much, but if you speak to people and maybe they don't want you to see the parents or they don't have any health certificates for the parents or the puppies, uh, these are ones to avoid. Basically, if you get a bad vibe from them, just avoid them. The other option, uh, if there aren't any in a dog home that you like, and you can't find any breeders with the dogs that you want, is maybe have some friends or family who have dogs have given a litter and want to give away the puppies. Uh, this is a nice way because these are people you'll know, uh, people that you know you will know that have been taking care of the dogs. The other thing to be careful of is if they're not experienced, obviously they may not know exactly what they are doing, when to take them to the vets, when to get all the shots, but they, they should have a good idea and if they're good pet owners and you can know that they're good pet owners, uh, this is not a bad option. One thing to be careful though of uh, with that is social media, you know, like you see on Facebook and all sorts of sites where they will say, uh, yeah, puppy for sale, puppy for sale. All these places are actually these puppy farms that pretend to be local, you know, I'm just selling one, um, but they're actually just farming them out in terrible conditions and these are the ones to avoid. The general idea is trust your gut. If you're going somewhere and it seems like they take care of the puppies, they are more concerned about the welfare than the money, go for it. If you have any doubts or you have that feeling or oh, they're hiding something, walk away, find something else because you don't want to support these people who take advantage of these dogs. That's all I've got now. We're going to carry on for our walk, but I hope to see you again very soon in another video. And like and subscribe. Thank you.
One last bit of advice. Once you do pick up your puppy, no matter where it is, or your older dog who lives in the shelter, always take it to the vet the first few days. Make sure it's got a clean bill of health, no problems. You never know what uh, they might have missed. Make sure the vaccines are up to date and everything's good. And also get to know your vet, understand how to contact them, what happens in an emergency, get any advice if you've never taken care of dogs before. Best to be on the safe side. More on what to do when you pick up your puppy in the next video. Ciao for now.